Breaks, welcome. Some of you subscribers reached out to me and told me more type of fragrances that I needed to purchase. So I did. I went and I bought Yara and I went and I bought Opulent Musk. I've been wearing these now for the last couple of weeks and man, do I have some feedback about them. If you love fragrance as much as I do and you want to talk about it all the time, please don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications and like this video. It really does help and support my channel. Okay guys, so the first one we'll talk about is Opulent Musk. First of all, there are definitely similarities to Opulent Musk and Baccarat Rouge 540. I wouldn't call Opulent Musk a dupe though, but I will say this. The first, very first time I wore it, so the day I got delivered, I sprayed this one first. And I went to the store, and when I was at the store, I was in the fresh fruit and veggie department, and this woman came up to me and grabbed my arm and said to me, are you wearing Baccarat Rouge 540? So that kind of did my head, not did my head in like, I can't believe she's saying that, but more like, I definitely got similarities, but there are a lot of differences too. But the fact that somebody else pulled me up and thought it was the real thing, I mean, I guess the proof is there, right? I think the similarities are that dentist office metallic ozone vibe with that saffron burst. That's really the things in common that this one has with Baccarat Rouge 540. But independently of Baccarat, it's actually a beautiful, beautiful scent. I was apprehensive about this one only because musk can be, you know, a little bit animalic, it can be a little musty, and it can bridge over into old-fashioned territory. This one didn't do that. The must stay airy, light, and absolutely beautiful. It's a really well done scent. There's also some woody, resinous things happening in the background with some gorgeous sweetness. Just an overall really nice experience to smell. And it's a balance of basically some woody notes, some spiciness with your saffrons, and that Baccarat medicinal DNA. So if that's something that sounds like it would be of interest to you, definitely check it out. I mean, I really, really like this scent. Like, I've taken a huge chunk out of the bottle actually already. It's so good. And I got a compliment the first time I ever wore it. I mean, you can't really complain with that, can you? Oh, and it's affordable. I mean, again, hello. Okay, so now I will spray Yara. Okay, straight out of the gate here, guys. What a scent. Like, I don't know what I expected with Yara. I know it had a uh, scent note listings that were very yummy sounding, but what I got preceded every expectation I could have had and more. This was honestly amazing to smell. I really think what sings to me in the fragrance is those tropical notes and those gourmand accords. I don't know what they put in there with those gourmand accords at La Tapa, but I'm telling you right now, they are some of the best, yummiest gourmand accords I've ever tried. If you love fruity, creamy, gourmand, sweet, intoxicating scents, you have to get your nose on this one. I'm telling you, it is insanely good. Definitely takes my head to summertime, sunscreen, cocktails, and fun. There is something so summery about this set. It just makes me happy. It's also very girly and feminine, delicate and bubbly. It's just got so much going on. And there's like nothing not to like. You know, there's Everything that I'm getting from this scent, I love. I also think that despite it being um, a gourmandish scent, it's surprisingly easy to wear. It's not sicklingly sweet. It just gives you the perfect balance of everything. You could definitely wear this as a signature scent or a sexy date night, you know, feel confident and yummy fragrance. I love this fragrance solo and I will have it in my collection forever moving forward. It's a staple now, but as a layering fragrance, this one would actually be incredible because it would go with so many other things and give those other things the things they're lacking. Honestly, you can't go wrong with this scent. If you like any of the things that I said before, or you just want a girly, sweet, yummy scent, grab Yara. I think you cannot go wrong. 
So guys, that is the Yara and Opulent Musk feedback. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you again so much to the subscribers that reached out and told me about these fragrances. I am forever thankful. They really are two of the best Latapa fragrances that I've come you know, in contact with. So thank you very much. If you guys have tried these scents, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did Yara get you as excited as it got me? I need to know. Did Opulent Musk ever get confused with Baccarat Rouge 540 before? Let me know. I would love to hear your feedback as always. Thank you so much, Scent Freaks. I love and appreciate you all, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. Take care.